time for another review. These are the new uh, latent lease darts from uh, Windmill. As you can see from the packaging, this particular set of 27 grams, 85% tungsten, and you've got your, your usual Windmill packaging with the logo on there and on the back. We've got a little bit more information about the products. If we uh, open this up, you can see what you get uh, in the packaging. We get, uh, as usual, we get a, a checkout table. So if you want to make your way out or work out all the checkouts, that's to help you out there. And we get the darts themselves in this uh, usual windmill plastic case. These plastic cases are actually quite alright. They just click together like that. Um, they're a pretty secure thing for keeping your darts in if you've not got anything else and if you new to the game be handy enough. It's um it's got wind now actually um cast into the plastic. So the darts themselves let's have a quick look at one of these just for first impression. Um a very traditional type of dart. If I, I put a, a flight in it. Somebody's asked me um, if I'd uh, just do a, a quick balance of the darts that I do just to, uh, for an idea of balance point so if I just balance it on my finger there you can see that the balance point of that dart is slightly front of middle so they're very slightly front weighted and you, you can pretty much assume that um, because of the, um, the increased shape at the front there uh, grip wise, um, not a lot of grip there, just uh, there's, there's four or five very lightly cut grooves there, it's a level two grip, um, fits nice and easy in the hand though. Uh, we've got Leighton Reese's signature laser cut into there, um, yeah, nice feeling though. Uh, I'll compare these to the purists, just a uh, quick visual compare so you can see the two darts together. Um, and as you can see, the uh, Leighton Reese dart is um, quite a bit shorter, probably five millimeters shorter. And thickness-wise, as you'd expect, it's thicker at the front and thinner at the back. Uh, a bit more of an accurate measure. And we've got. Let's just switch this on. Okay. At the front. The dart is at its thickest point. I make that 7.9 millimeters. Yep, and it goes down at its thinnest point. A very slight taper on the end there, to around about. If you can get it on there, to around about 5.7 or so. Uh, lengthwise, if I remove the stem, it is. From the back of the point to the end of the barrel, it is 48.1 millimeters. Okay, so let's get this for a, a pretty uh, close up look at this thing, if I can. And we've got Let's turn it so you can see that signature. We've got a standard black point leading up to um, quite a nice, pleasant, um, slow tapered bull nose with uh, a very small flat cut at the front and then just the one groove uh, cut into the actual front taper. We go over the fattest part and we meet another groove and then a further three more grooves as it slowly begins to taper back away down uh, towards halfway. This part here looks to me to be straight, uh, a straight taper leading to the back of the back of the stem, and there is a slight lip at the back there where it meets the stem. Um, and of course, you've got your Leighton Reese signature um, laser cut or laser etched into the back of the barrel just there. Okay, so what do you get for your money? You get 
your three darts and your point protector. You get your standard windmill case, a set of Leighton Reese signature flights, your black plastic nylon stems, your three rings, your case, everything in the box there to be able to go out and play a game of darts with them. So there you go, your Leighton Reese darts. Let's see how they fly. Okay, let's throw a few of these Leighton Reese darts. <coughs> First impressions are good. Uh, you can feel that little bit of front loading on there. Obviously, 27 grams for me. You can you can certainly feel the weight and the bulk of the dart. Well, they do fly very nicely. <coughs> it's not a, a massive effort to change that three grams up. It does give you that little bit of weight, just does give you, I don't know, a little bit more stable throw, maybe, in my case. Yeah, nice dots. Um, there's certainly nothing wrong with the way they fly. Um, Slightly more of an arced trajectory, I suspect. But I'm having uh, no difficulty with them. Comfortable enough to throw. Yeah. <coughs> so there you go. There's your. That's the the basic shape of the dart. A traditional shape of dart there, I'd call that, with the, uh, and 27 gram, 85% tungsten, beautifully made as ever, uh, nicely put together, black points, um, so if you're into that kind of dart, uh, like I say, you could do a lot worse than get these, um, <coughs> with that sort of bulbous-ish kind of front end. Comfortable dart to throw, <coughs> fit nicely in your hand, easy to line up. Yeah, yeah I'm liking them. The more I'm throwing them, the more I like them. <coughs> if you're into this shape of dart, these are very nice. And if you remember Leighton Reese, he certainly could throw it out, and this was this kind of, kind of shape. So there you go. There's your Leighton Reese darts from Windmill. Super darts. <coughs>